Born Richard Wagstaff Clark in Mount Vernon, New York, on November 30, 1929, he was the son of Richard Augustus Clark, a sales manager, and Julia Fuller, a secretary. The young Clark grew up in an environment that fostered his love for entertainment. As a child, he would often listen to radio broadcasts and attend live shows, sparking his interest in the world of media. Clark's path to becoming a producer was influenced by several key figures in his life. One of his earliest mentors was a radio personality named Bob Horn, who gave him his first job in the industry as a teenager. Horn hosted a popular radio show called Record Hop, where Clark learned the ins and outs of radio broadcasting. Later, when Horn was fired, Clark took over the show, which marked the beginning of his successful career in media. Another significant influence on Clark's career was the legendary television producer, Steve Allen. In the late 1950s, Allen created a groundbreaking television show called The Tonight Show, which Clark admired greatly. When Allen left the show, Clark was chosen as his successor, further solidifying his status as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Clark's upbringing and early exposure to the world of media played a crucial role in shaping his career as a producer. His love for entertainment, combined with the guidance of his mentors, helped him become one of the most influential figures in the industry. Through his work, Clark created classic shows that continue to resonate with audiences today. Dick Clark, a legendary television producer, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His iconic show, American Bandstand, brought music and dance into the homes of millions of Americans. Did Clark inspire or impact your life in some way? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. What qualities do you think make Dick Clark an enduring symbol of the industry? His innovative spirit, and ability to connect with audiences come to mind. Please share your thoughts with us. Do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience related to this classic star? We'd love to hear about it. Throughout his career, Dick Clark faced many challenges and surprises. In this video, we'll share some funny, shocking, and sad facts about his life and career. As a young man, Dick Clark was always drawn to the world of entertainment. He began his career in radio, but it was his move to television that truly ignited his passion. In the 1950s, he hosted a local dance party show in Pennsylvania, which quickly gained popularity, but it was one particular moment that solidified his love for producing. During a live broadcast, the show's band began to play the wrong song for a dance performance. Without missing a beat, Clark smoothly transitioned to a different camera angle and ad-libbed a conversation with the audience, saving the show from an awkward moment. It was in this pivotal experience that Clark discovered his passion for creating live television and the thrill of thinking on his feet. From that moment on, Clark dedicated himself to perfecting his craft as a producer. He believed in the power of television to bring people together and create a sense of community. He went on to create some of the most iconic shows in television history, including American Bandstand and Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve. Clark's ability to connect with his audience and create entertaining programming made him a beloved figure in the industry. He continued to work in television until his passing in 2012 leaving behind a legacy that resonates with generations of viewers. Through his passion and dedication, Dick Clark forever changed the landscape of American television. Dick Clark was born on November 30, 1929, in Mount Vernon, New York. The son of a salesman, Clark's interest in the entertainment industry began at an early age. As a teenager, he worked at a local radio station, which sparked his passion for broadcasting. Clark attended Syracuse University, where he studied radio and television production. After graduating, he worked at several radio stations before moving on to television. In 1956, he landed a job as a newscaster and weekend weatherman at a Philadelphia television station. One of Clark's most significant early career influences was his work on American Bandstand. The show, which debuted in 1957, featured live performances by popular musicians and quickly became a hit. Clark's easygoing style and ability to connect with audiences made him a natural host and the show helped launch the careers of many musicians. In 1972, Clark founded Dick Clark Productions, which produced numerous successful television shows and specials. The company's productions included the American Music Awards, the Golden Globe Awards, and the Academy of Country Music Awards. Clark's company also produced numerous successful game shows, including The 25,000 Pyramid and 100,000 Pyramid. Throughout his career, Clark remained a fixture in the entertainment industry. He continued to host and produce shows well into his later years, earning him the nickname America's Oldest Teenager.
Clark's contributions to the entertainment industry were significant, and his impact can still be felt today. Sadly, Clark passed away in 2012, but his legacy lives on through his work and the many lives he touched. Dick Clark, a producer famous for his classic show American Bandstand, faced numerous challenges early on. Born on November 30, 1929, in Mount Vernon, New York, Clark's journey to success was filled with obstacles. Financial struggles were a significant hurdle for Clark. In the beginning, he worked as a radio DJ, often struggling to make ends meet. However, he persevered and continued to hone his craft, eventually landing a job as a television host. Industry skepticism was another challenge Clark had to overcome. When he first started hosting American Bandstand, many in the industry doubted his ability to connect with audiences, particularly teenagers. But Clark's innovative approach to music and entertainment quickly won over viewers, and the show became a massive hit. Despite these challenges, Clark remained resilient and continued to push the boundaries of entertainment. He introduced new artists and styles to mainstream audiences, helping to shape the musical landscape of the 1950s and 60s. One of Clark's most significant contributions to the industry was his ability to bridge the gap between different generations. He recognized the power of music to bring people together and worked tirelessly to create a show that appealed to audiences of all ages. Clark's innovative spirit and determination helped him overcome early obstacles and establish himself as a leading figure in the entertainment industry. His resilience and creative solutions continue to inspire aspiring producers and entertainers today. Moving forward, Dick Clark replaced Bob Horn as the new host of American Bandstand in 1956, a position he held for 31 years until 1987. His tenure as host of this classic show played a significant role in promoting rock and roll music to a wide audience. After American Bandstand, Dick Clark continued to host other shows, including The Other Half and 21. However, his last hosting job was not the end of his involvement in the entertainment industry. In 2002, many of the groups that the producer introduced on American Bandstand appeared at the 50th anniversary special to celebrate this classic show's impact on popular culture. This special event was a testament to the enduring legacy of American Bandstand and Dick Clark's contributions to the entertainment industry. Overall, Dick Clark's impact on the entertainment industry resonated beyond his time as a host. His work transcended generations and left an indelible mark on the world of music and entertainment. In the early 1950s, Dick Clark started his career as a radio DJ, but his big break came in 1957 when he became the host of American Bandstand. This show, initially a local program in Philadelphia, quickly gained popularity for playing the latest hits and showcasing teenagers dancing to the music. In no time, it became a national phenomenon, airing on ABC for over three decades. Clark's impact on the music industry was substantial. He introduced audiences to artists like Elvis Presley, Chuck Berry, and Aretha Franklin, helping to launch their careers. According to Meredith O'Sullivan Wasson, a television historian, Dick Clark was instrumental in bringing rock and roll into the mainstream and making it accessible to a wider audience. In 1972, Clark produced and hosted The 10,000 Pyramid, a groundbreaking game show that became a staple of daytime television. The show's unique format, where contestants worked in teams to guess words and phrases based on clues, captured the attention of viewers and critics alike. As game show expert Bob Bowden put it, the Pyramid was a game changer in the world of television, and Dick Clark was the perfect host, with his quick wit and ability to put contestants at ease. Another significant milestone in Clark's career was his creation of the Dick Clark's New Year's Rock and Eve special in 1972. This annual tradition, which still airs today, showcases live performances from top artists and culminates in the iconic countdown to the new year. According to television critic David Bianculli, Dick Clark's New Year's Rock and Eve has become a classic American tradition, thanks in large part to Clark's ability to create a festive atmosphere that brings people together. Throughout his career, Dick Clark received numerous accolades, including multiple Emmy Awards and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. His contributions to the entertainment industry continue to resonate today, inspiring future generations of producers, hosts, and artists. As music historian Joel Whitburn noted, Dick Clark was a true pioneer and his impact on the music industry and television will be felt for generations to come. Dick Clark was a highly acclaimed producer, inducted into several halls of fame, including the National Radio Hall of Fame in 1990. His idol was Arthur Godfrey, a significant figure in the broadcasting industry. 
In 1957, the show American Bandstand was picked up by ABC and renamed to its current title. The producer made a crucial decision to end the show's all-white policy and began introducing black artists. This move was a game-changer, and by 1959, the show was broadcast by 101 affiliates and reached an audience of 20 million. The success of American Bandstand can be attributed to Dick Clark's vision and dedication to promoting diverse talent. This classic show introduced a new era of music and entertainment, reaching millions of viewers and leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Dick Clark, a name synonymous with American television, brought his unique vision to the world of entertainment. As a producer, he approached his work with an innovative spirit, constantly seeking to push boundaries and create new experiences for his audience. His signature style was marked by a commitment to showcasing diverse talent and providing a platform for emerging artists. Clark's personal experiences and worldview were deeply reflected in his work. Growing up in a small town in Pennsylvania, he developed a deep appreciation for the power of music to bring people together. This passion was evident in his groundbreaking show American Bandstand, which showcased the hottest musical acts of the day and gave viewers a front row seat to the latest dance moves. The producer's approach to his work was always hands-on, and he was deeply involved in every aspect of production. He believed that the key to creating a successful show was to create a warm and welcoming atmosphere both on and off screen. This approach helped to create a sense of community around his shows and made them feel like events that viewers didn't want to miss. One of the things that set Dick Clark apart from his contemporaries was his ability to adapt to changing times. He recognized that the world of entertainment was constantly evolving and he was always looking for new ways to stay relevant. This willingness to innovate and take risks helped him to create shows that resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on the industry. In addition to his work as a producer, Clark was also a skilled interviewer and host. He had a knack for making his guests feel at ease and was able to draw out their stories in a way that was both engaging and informative. His interviews were always a highlight of his shows and viewers tuned in week after week to see who he would be talking to next. Despite his many accomplishments, Dick Clark remained humble and down to earth throughout his career. He was known for his kindness and generosity and he always made time for his fans. His legacy as a producer, interviewer, and host is a testament to his enduring impact on the world of entertainment. In the second to last episode of The Weird Al Show in 1997, the producer, Dick Clark, made a guest appearance. He was featured in a countdown to the end of the show, a familiar scene for those who watched as Dick Clark's rockin' New Year's Eve specials. In a different comedy series, Police Squad, Clark appeared as himself in the last three episodes. He shared useful, albeit esoteric information with Frank Snitch, Johnny the Shoeshine Boy, who seemed to know everything. When the producer passed away, his family opted not to have a public memorial service. Instead, his remains were cremated, and his ashes were scattered in the Pacific Ocean. This decision reflected the private nature of the man behind the public persona. Throughout his career, Dick Clark left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His contributions extended beyond his roles as a producer, host, and actor. His ability to connect with audiences, whether through music or comedy, was truly remarkable. Yet, in the end, he chose a simple and private conclusion to his life's journey. Dick Clark, a producer who significantly influenced the entertainment industry, is best known for American Bandstand. This classic show brought music into the living rooms of millions of Americans, making Clark a household name. His innovative approach to television production transformed the industry. According to John Burlingame, a film historian, Dick Clark saw the potential of music as a powerful force in television and harnessed it like no one before him. Clark's impact extends beyond his contributions to music on television. He also played a pivotal role in shaping the careers of many influential musicians. As music historian Susan Vincent explains, Clark provided a platform for artists to reach a broader audience, contributing to the success of many iconic musicians. Moreover, his production company, Dick Clark Productions, has produced numerous successful television shows, including the Golden Globe Awards and the American Music Awards. These productions have become institutions in the television industry, setting standards for award shows and entertainment programming. The producer's influence on storytelling is also noteworthy. By showcasing musicians and their music, Clark told stories that resonated with audiences and transcended generations. As music journalist Ann Powers notes, Dick Clark understood the power of storytelling through music 
and his ability to connect with audiences on an emotional level is a testament to his skill as a producer. In addition to his impact on the entertainment industry, Clark's influence can be seen in the trends and techniques used in modern television production. His innovative approach to storytelling, music, and entertainment continues to inspire producers and filmmakers today. Industry experts and those inspired by Clark agree on his enduring impact. As television producer, Shonda Rhimes states, Dick Clark's contributions to the entertainment industry are immeasurable. His impact on music, television, and storytelling will continue to resonate for generations to come. When American Bandstand made its debut on ABC in 1957, the show was unique in its format. Airing weekdays at 2 or 30 p.m. on local affiliate WFIL in Philadelphia, and then joining the network at 300 p.m., it was a 90-minute live show, an uncommon length even by today's standards. The program took a half-hour break at 3 under 30 p.m., during which Do You Trust Your Wife? starring Johnny Carson was aired from New York. At 500 p.m., American Bandstand returned to the airwaves, wrapping up at 600 p.m. Dick Clark, the producer of this classic show, had an impressive career that extended beyond American Bandstand. By the 1980s, he had shows on all three major networks and was listed among the Forbes 400 of wealthiest Americans. His impact on the entertainment industry was significant. One notable fact about American Bandstand is that only two recording artists performed the same song twice during a single appearance. This occurred in 1958 when Chuck Berry, in his network television debut, sang rock and roll music, and again in 1961 when Gary U.S. Bonds performed a quarter to three. This was an unusual occurrence that highlighted the talents of these two artists. In summary, Dick Clark's American Bandstand was a groundbreaking show that set the stage for future music programs. The producer's successful career extended beyond this classic show, and he left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. The unique performances on American Bandstand, such as those by Chuck Berry and Gary U.S. Bonds, remain memorable moments in television history. Dick Clark, the producer known for his work on American Bandstand, led a life that extended beyond the entertainment industry. He had a deep appreciation for antique cars and even hosted a show called The History of Rock and Roll, which showcased his passion for music. Clark's personal values and interests often intersected with his work. His love for music was evident in American Bandstand, where he showcased various artists and genres. The show became a platform for promoting new talent and introducing different music styles to the masses. In addition to his professional achievements, Clark was also known for his philanthropic efforts. He was passionate about supporting medical research and established the Dick Clark Foundation to raise funds for this cause. The foundation has donated millions of dollars to various medical organizations, including the American Heart Association and the National Kidney Foundation. Clark's interest in medical research was personal, as he had experienced health issues throughout his life. In 2004, he suffered a stroke, which affected his speech and mobility. However, he remained determined to recover and even returned to hosting American Bandstand a year later. Clark's resilience and dedication to his craft and causes serve as an inspiration to many. His personal values, such as perseverance and a commitment to giving back, are reflected in his work and philanthropic efforts. Despite the challenges he faced, Clark remained a prominent figure in the entertainment industry and a champion for medical research. Even before Dick Clark became a household name in television, he was already captivated by stage theater at the age of 13, attending shows featuring Jimmy Durant and Gary Moore. Long before his success, he worked at Wolf AM, a country music station in Syracuse, New York. Clark's career as a television host and producer was nothing short of remarkable. However, even as his career reached great heights, he never forgot his roots in radio and music. In fact, his last game show as a host was Winning Lines in 2000 which further showcased his love for games and competition. This classic producer's impact on the entertainment industry transcended generations and resonated with many. His contributions to television and music will always be cherished, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Without a doubt, Dick Clark's mark on the industry is enduring, and his influence will undoubtedly be felt for years to come. Dick Clark a name synonymous with the evolution of American music and entertainment, leaves behind a legacy that continues to resonate. As a producer, his influence on the industry was profound, shaping the sound and style of music through programs like American Bandstand.
Clark's innovative approach to television production brought music into the living rooms of millions, fostering a newfound appreciation for emerging artists and genres. His keen eye for talent discovery led to the rise of numerous musical icons, making him a pivotal figure in the entertainment world. Beyond his work in music, Clark's impact extended to film and game show production, further solidifying his status as a versatile and influential media mogul. This classic producer's ability to adapt and innovate throughout his career remains an inspiration for aspiring professionals in the field. For those looking to follow in Clark's footsteps, his advice is simple, stay true to your vision and never stop learning. Embrace new technologies and trends, but always prioritize the quality of your content and the connections you forge with your audience. As the future of entertainment unfolds, Dick Clark's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of innovation, passion, and dedication. By adhering to these principles, aspiring professionals can contribute to the ever-evolving tapestry of the entertainment industry and leave their own indelible mark. In 1972, Dick Clark filled in for Casey Kasem once on American Top 40. This was just one of the producer's many contributions to the music industry. A few years later, ABC had reduced American Bandstand from a full hour to 30 minutes, and Clark was disappointed in the direction the show was taking. As a result, the show moved from ABC to syndication on the USA Cable Network for its final season in 1988. Interestingly, the nighttime version of American Bandstand, hosted by Clark, had aired on ABC for 13 weeks in 1957, featuring guests such as the Everly Brothers and the Billy Williams Quartet. However, this classic show ended on the eve of New Year's Eve that same year. Despite this, Clark would continue to be a welcome guest in American households for decades to come, hosting Dick Clark's Rockin' New Year's Eve beginning in 1972. It's worth noting that Clark's impact on the music industry went beyond American Bandstand and American Top 40. His contributions to music and pop culture will continue to resonate for years to come. Dick Clark, a name synonymous with the glitz and glamour of show business, embarked on his journey in the entertainment industry at a young age. His passion for production was evident when he started working in radio while still in college. Clark's innovative spirit led him to create groundbreaking television shows that would leave an indelible mark on popular culture. One such classic is American Bandstand, which brought musical performances into homes across America. The show became a platform for new artists to showcase their talents and connect with fans directly. It also played a pivotal role in integrating audiences by featuring performers of various racial backgrounds. Reflecting the changing social landscape of the time, Clark's dedication to his craft extended beyond the screen. As a producer, he played a crucial role in shaping the way people experienced live events. He introduced the world to the concept of a rockin' New Year's Eve with his annual broadcast, which has become a beloved tradition for millions around the globe. Throughout his career, Clark faced numerous challenges, but his perseverance and creativity allowed him to overcome each hurdle. His story serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of following one's passion and believing in one's abilities. In the end, it was Clark's unwavering commitment to innovation and his ability to resonate with diverse audiences that cemented his status as a legendary figure in the entertainment industry. The power of creativity and perseverance can truly transform dreams into reality, much like they did for Dick Clark. As we look back on the career of Dick Clark, one thing becomes clear his impact on the entertainment industry was immense. From American Bandstand to New Year's Rockin' Eve, this producer created classic after classic that resonated with audiences and transcended generations. Clark's work was more than just entertaining, it was a reflection of the times. His shows captured the spirit of the era and provided a platform for new talent to emerge. The producer had a knack for recognizing what audiences wanted before they even knew it themselves. Take American Bandstand, for example. This show introduced the world to rock and roll music and gave a voice to a new generation of musicians. It was more than just a music show. It was a cultural phenomenon that shaped the landscape of American entertainment. New Year's Rock and Eve was another groundbreaking production from Clark. This classic show brought in the new year with style and flair, and it became a tradition for millions of Americans. The producer's ability to create a sense of community and celebration through his work was truly remarkable. But Clark's contributions didn't stop there. He was a trailblazer in many areas of the entertainment industry, always pushing the boundaries and trying new things. His work will continue to inspire and influence future generations of creators. 
As we celebrate Dick Clark's legacy, let us remember not only the shows he produced, but also the impact he had on the entertainment industry as a whole. His work will continue to captivate and inspire us for years to come. So, what are your thoughts on Dick Clark's work and legacy? Share them in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.